Chapter Thirty of Women of History. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Women of History by Anonymous. Chapter Thirty. Elizabeth Lucas, born fifteen ten died fifteen thirty seven ballard the daughter of mr paul withypole was born in london in the year fifteen ten she had a very polite and liberal education given her by her father and having an excellent genius she became exquisitely skilful in all kinds of needlework was a curious calligrapher very knowing in arithmetic an adept in several sorts of music and she was a complete mistress in the latin italian and spanish tongues all which attainments were acquired at the age of twenty-six i can say nothing more concerning her than what her monument inscription informs me which though a rude composition i will here exhibit as it was engraved on a plate of brass in the south aisle of the parish church of saint michael in crooked lane london being unwilling to omit anything that may preserve the memory of so ingenious a person she wrought all needleworks that women exercise with pin frame or stool all pictures artificial curious knots or trails what fancy could devise beasts birds or flowers even as things natural three manner of hands could she write them fair all to speak of algorism or accounts in every fashion of women few like i think in all this nation dame cunning her gave a gift right excellent the goodly practice of her science musical in diverse tongues to sing and play with instrument both viol and lute and also virginal not only upon one but excellent in all for all other virtues belonging to nature god her appointed a very perfect creature latin and spanish and also italian she spake writ and read with perfect utterance and for the english she the garland wan in dame prudence school by grace's purveyance which clothed her with virtues from naked ignorance reading the scriptures to judge light from dark directing her faith to christ the only mark decoration end of chapter thirty